I am Chastity Sandoval. I'm a victim specialist care coordinator. Missing and murdered indigenous people are relatives that have gone missing, relatives that have been, um, their lives have been taken either due to homicide, um, to murder, and uh, these are missing relatives throughout the country, men, women, and children. More missing men, um, the problem with that is that it's not being reported. And then so when we were collecting the data and the statistics of that, we were noticing that more men are missing than women and children. The big obstacle that we do see the barriers and challenges is um, law enforcement in itself, um, working with them. It's really hard to navigate the justice system. And what that means is who gets the jurisdiction when a person goes missing, rather it's county, state, federal or tribal. So when that happens, there's a confusion and nobody wants to take the responsibility or pick up the case. It's important to realize that this is something that has not been recent. It's been happening for a very long time. Finally surfacing, there's being awareness, there's, there's prevention happening. There's a huge movement to address this crisis. I grew up in a home of um, having relatives that were being missing for long periods of time. And my earliest memory was the concerns of our elders in our, in our community trying to fight with law enforcement to get answers, to file a report, as well as um, trying to navigate the system. And what that looked like was frustration. The, the barrier there was nobody could translate into their language. Um, nobody knew the answer to even where to begin. When I finally got my degree in criminal justice, it opened the window to allow me to become a victim specialist and advocate for a tribe in, here in New Mexico. To even bring justice in this field.